welcome to the AI Chat Podcast. I'm your host, Jaden Schaefer. Every day we break down breaking AI news stories and explain their implications in your life and in business. If you are interested in seeing really interesting AI use cases, make sure to follow me over on x.com, formerly Twitter, as I will be sharing some really cool use cases of AI and I kind of, you know, retweet some of the greatest things I'm seeing in the space every day. So make sure to follow me at Jaden underscore AI. I'll drop a link to that, but also my handle is in the podcast cover. I would love to have you in the community. Have you ever wanted to start your own podcast? I record and publish podcasts on a platform called Spotify for Podcasters, and I absolutely love it. Essentially, you can upload from your phone or computer and it distributes to every platform that plays podcasts. They support video podcasts and you can make money on the platform with ads or even podcast subscriptions, something that has made my life so much much easier as a podcaster. So if you're interested, I highly recommend you give it a try. You can download the Spotify for podcast app or go to spotify.com slash podcasters to get started on your podcast today. A major player has just announced an AI model to compete with Midjourney, and it is open source. So this is going to ruffle a few feathers in the AI space. And I'm thinking make some pretty big um, impacts on the AI landscape in general. So today on the podcast, we are diving in. So the headline story here is that Stability AI, who is the, you know, is famous for Stable Diffusion, has unveiled uh, Stable Diffusion XL 1.0, which is essentially a really advanced text-to-image model, and this is going to compete directly with Midjourney. So I myself have had the chance to play around with this. You can go find it at clipdrop.co slash Stable Diffusion. This is actually pretty cool. Um, I was able to generate a hyper-realistic image of a whale on a beach in on Vancouver Island. Um, it did a pretty good job. It gave me four additions, uh, variations of this, and this is much more similar to something you would expect out of uh, mid-journey instead of something that you would expect out of, you know, a lesser model like, let's say, Dolly 2. So overall, I've been fairly impressed with this. Definitely room for improvement in some areas, but this thing seems to have figured out human hands, making... Um, that work. And the big thing here is that uh, Stable Diffusion is famous for being open source. What is really cool is that in addition to be able to get this and use this on ClipDrop for, you know, I mean, I used it for free. I played around with it for a minute. You can also get it um, open source on GitHub. The company's API and consumer apps ClipDrop and Dream Studio also deliver a really vibrant um, accurate colors and some contrast shadows, lighting, and a lot of other really awesome things that are much better compared to its predecessor. But of course, you know, it is available now open source on GitHub. So in an interview that recently happened with TechCrunch, Stability AI's head of applied machine learnings, that's Joe Penna, described Stable Diffusion XL 1.0 as dynamic, customizable, it's a model that's ready for fine-tuning for concepts and styles. So in addition to being a lot more user-friendly, the new model is designed to generate complex images via natural language processing prompts, right? Like you would expect from something like Midjourney. So Stable Diffusion's XL 1.0 encompasses 3.5 billion parameters. It's designed to generate full 1 megapixel resolution images. It does this in seconds. I've witnessed this. And it does this across multiple aspect ratios. So this is a very considerable improvement over the previous versions, Stable Diffusion XL 0.9, which required a lot more computational power to produce similar high resolution images. So they've made some really big steps in that regard alone. Stability AI is also kind of touting the fact that they have made a lot of advancements in uh, text generation. So Unlike a lot of text-to-image models that really struggle with generating images with legible text, Stable Diffusion XL 1.0 really excels in advanced text generation and legibility. This is massive for so many reasons. If you've ever tried to get a model like, um, you know, Dolly 2 to generate you a logo, and you're like, hey, generate me a logo for a company that does X, Y, and Z, it's going to, like, generate this horrible morph thing with these crazy weird like you know letters that aren't actually letters smushed all over it it's gonna look terrible that is the problem that they're solving here so i think the model also supports in painting which essentially is you know like reconstructing missing parts of an image and it does out painting which is extending existing images right so you can throw an image on there and say like continue the image to the right continue the image to the left some people use this to do really cool like panoramic images, right? Because they just keep extending it on both sides till it's essentially a panoramic image. 
Um, but in any case, this is something we've also seen from Photoshop um, and a number of other, I think Midjourney's done something here too. So I, you really got to do this to compete nowadays, but a really awesome, a really awesome move. And like, let's not forget, this is open source. Absolutely incredible. They also have some image to image prompts, which are really, really cool. So users essentially can input an image. They can add text uh, and a text prompt to that, and then they can create a more detailed variation. So, right, you could throw your family photo in there, and then you could say, you know, put the Eiffel Tower in the background or, you know, whatever you want, and it can, it can manipulate the image that you have put in there. In addition to all of these really, really interesting features that they have been able to um, pull, uh, turn out, it also understands really complex multi-part instructions provided in short prompts. So this is a pretty big advancement over previous versions that required longer text prompts. Um, now they're able to cut that down. However, the release of you know such a powerful open source source model doesn't come without uh, you know a lot of people saying that it's very controversial, right? So uh, Stable Diffusion XL 1.0, in theory, you know, some people say could be exploited to generate harmful or toxic content. I mean, I'm not sure how that's much different than all the harmful and toxic content that is being generated every day on the internet anyways. You know, maybe someone would argue that that would be accelerated. Um, and, you know, a lot of people are saying the big issue here is that you can create non-consensual deep fakes, right? So I could say Obama um you know shooting a gun at a bus or something bad right some famous figure doing something bad and then i could try to convince people that that was real right creating a deep fake and the worry here that a lot of people have is you could you know theoretically do a lot of that kind of stuff on midjourney but midjourney being a platform that um is able to try to like kind of crack down and if you make a lot of deep fakes on your account and mostly if they just get famous or go viral then they'll shut your account down and say you know slap on the wrist bad don't do that um and so people are worried that if you make a powerful ai model like this um then people are going to and it's open source then you can't really control you can't stop people from generating whatever they want so i think that's what a lot of people are um concerned about or complaining about so the company actually acknowledges these potential abuses but they emphasize that it has taken extra steps to mitigate harmful content generation filtering the model's training data for unsafe imagery and blocking individual uh, problematic terms so legal disputes have actually arisen particularly involving artists and uh, stock photo company getty images and they are essentially protesting against their work being used as training data for generative AI models. So Stability AI claims its activities fall under the fair use doctrine, but it has also pledged to respect opt-out requests from artists and has promised to continue incorporating their requests. So in conjunction with, Stabil with Stable Diffusion XL 1.0's release, Stability AI is launching a fine-tuning feature. It's currently in beta for its API, but this is going to allow users to use as... To use as view as five image to five images to specialize generation on specific subjects. So additionally, the company is bringing stability um, and stable diffusion XL 1.0 to bedrock, which is Amazon's cloud platform for hosting generative AI models, which is really, you know, they're doing this to further their collaboration with AWS, but this is really massive. Um, Amazon's bedrock cloud platform is a huge way that companies can integrate AI into what they're building and having uh, Stable Diffusion XL 1.0 on there, I think is a really, really big step. In addition, I think, you know, I don't want to glaze over the fact that they're doing their their fine tuning where you can essentially upload images and, and train it, right? So like if you are a company and let's say you manufacture air condition parts and this thing is horrible at generating images of that you could upload a whole bunch of images you know maybe you got a database of like air condition um i don't know air condition parts you upload that whole thing and now all of a sudden it'll be able to generate things uh generate your objects better i think that's really cool um that i think that's a really really big move that not a lot of people are doing and an absolute reason why you'd want something that's open source you want your own model that you can do you know uh, some people would say, well, why wouldn't you just try to get that, give that data to someone like um, Dolly 2 and have them incorporate it? Obviously, that's just a massive process. And maybe you want to keep your own data set of images and you have the biggest data set of some sort of subject. So you would like to be, you know, the one that can, that can, people can generate that on your end. So I think it's really cool. Um, Stability AI's release of Stable Diffusion XL 
1.0, I think is a really crucial move for the company. Um, I think that they're experiencing a competitive crunch. So the company actually secured over $100 million in venture capital, but they've been essentially grappling with cash burn and uh, they're making very aggressive moves to ramp up sales. So, you know, Stability AI's CEO, Imad, um, Imad Motask, remains very optimistic about the company's future. He said, quote, the latest SDXL model represents the next step in Stability AI's innovative uh, innovation heritage and ability to bring the most cutting edge open access models to market for the AI community. I think overall, this is really impressive. I've tried the tool out. I'm, I'm quite impressed with it. You know, the prospect of being able to grab this uh, as an open source model and incorporate into projects I'm doing is incredibly appealing, incredibly attractive. I mean, especially when you consider the leading AI generator, which is Midjourney, doesn't even have an API, which is absolutely, you know, it's very annoying for anyone trying to integrate and do image generation. So being able to just alone have the API on here, I think is a big move. And then in addition, now they have a lot of these extra features that are just not found anywhere else, right? Fine tuning with your own images. I think that's huge. They have a lot of really cool things that they're doing. Um, and then making this open source, of course, is just uh, such a such a massive win, right? Imagine if you had uh, mid journey open source, that'd be crazy. So I think this is really exciting. I'm very excited to follow what they continue to do in the future. Definitely a pioneer in AI, awesome company all around. So very excited to watch them grow and see what the next moves are for them. This episode is brought to you by Shopify. That's the sound of switching your business to Shopify, the global commerce platform that supercharges your selling. Harness the best converting checkout and same intuitive features, trusted apps, and powerful analytics used by the world's leading brands. Stop leaving sales on the table. Discover why millions trust Shopify to build, grow, and run their business. Sign up today for your $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash tech23. Thank you for listening to the AI Chat Podcast. If you enjoyed this podcast, I'd appreciate it if you rate us wherever you listen to your podcast. And if you're looking for an innovative group of AI enthusiasts, make sure to check out our Discord channel and Facebook community. It's obviously a lot more interactive than a podcast where we can share software tools and prompts we're using in AI every day. I'll leave a link for those in the description below.